600 mile Atlantic Coast Pipeline project for natural gas was declared canceled on Sunday. But is it possible it could be brought back to life? The massive project through West Virginia, Virginia and North Carolina raised big environmental concerns and the battle may not be over yet. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. The Atlantic Coast Pipeline construction was halted by a lawsuit which ended two weeks ago when the U.S. Supreme Court said the project could go forward. Then suddenly on Sunday, the project's partners, Dominion Energy and Duke Energy, announced they were pulling the plug. But the next day, billionaire investor Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway stepped in to buy much of the project's assets. The West Virginia Chamber of Commerce is hoping the pipeline and its 17,000 construction jobs will be revived. We find optimism in the the fact that they made those purchases because that tells us that they see an uptick on the horizon. Uh, so we're, we're optimistic that they're going to be here. Uh, we're in the process of welcoming them to West Virginia and making outreaches to the company. Even if it isn't, the state has the Mountain Valley Pipeline still under construction, along with the Rover Pipeline and the Mountaineer Express Pipeline to draw on its huge natural gas reserves. Meanwhile, environmentalists who challenged the Atlantic Coast Pipeline are prepared to do it again. They continue to push alternate energy. West Virginia needs to get into the clean energy renewables game or we're going to miss out. And there are so many possibilities for job creation in that sector that I'm afraid if we don't make some major changes and shifts in our thinking now, we're going to be left behind. There is still talk of building natural gas storage hub facilities as a means for distribution, but so far those plans remain just plans. Industry leaders say liquid natural gas and other byproducts can certainly be transported by river, barge, rail, or by truck, but it's far more costly with far less volume than you get with a pipeline. In Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. So far, Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway have not indicated what their intentions are with their new multi-billion dollar investment. Environmental groups plan to sue if the pipeline is revived. Well, we see a couple.